What's up Dragon Nation, I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers Tutorials. This episode, I want to go over remote controls. It's something that's kind of forgotten about in the game and is really handy for a couple of reasons. But let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, so this block right here, this is a remote control. Not only can you put it on large grids, but you could also put it on small grids. Now in order for a remote control to work, you also need an antenna to accompany it. So this, this little uh, platform right here is just for a test later on. We'll go ahead and get some things set up. There's a lot of stuff we need to go over. Uh, but like I said, remote controls are kind of forgotten about in the game. Not a whole lot of people use them anymore. Uh, they used to be, when they first came out, everybody used them for just about everything. But yeah, just make sure with the remote control you also have an antenna to accompany it. So what I did was I built this little ship so that way we could test everything out. Unfortunately it doesn't have a remote control yet or an antenna. Now whenever you're placing a remote control you want to make sure that the remote control is facing forwards. Because whenever you're controlling a ship, the front of the remote, if you're controlling it through the remote, which, whichever way is facing will become the front of the ship. So if you're looking for the front of the remote, it's that little dot right there. And then the top, if I could get my thrusters to work with me, is the little slope that is right there in the left corner. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn that so it faces the front of the ship. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put in an antenna. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and set up the range of the antenna. Now keep in mind that the further range you have on that antenna means that antenna will require more power. So as you can see over here the current input is 20 kilowatts. If we go ahead and max out that antenna it goes to 200 kilowatts. Now you don't have to control this from the station. You can actually control a remote control ship from the suit. But also another thing you want to make sure you do is to go ahead and name the ship so it'll be easier to find later on. So let's go into KA. I want to go ahead and go to info. Right down here in the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, we're going to go ahead and name this, well, let's just name it Tiny. Why not? And then hit OK. Also, it's a good idea to go ahead and go to the control panel and name your remote as well. So we're going to go ahead and name this remote control Tiny. Now the reason you want to make sure that you name your remote control is because if you have more than one ship that is docked up to a station with remote controls in them, you will have three different remote controls and you won't be able to tell which one is which. So just go ahead and name them so you can find them whenever you go into the control panel. Also, one thing you want to be careful of when you are looking at antennas, if you are playing a multiplayer right now, let me actually get out and show you. While the antenna is on, as you can see, it is showing the location where that ship is. It's actually broadcasting. Not only you can see that, but enemies can see that as well. Enemies will see that as red. So always be mindful of that. If you can see the antenna on that ship or the marker for it, enemies will be able to see it as well. So now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and control that ship. Now like I said, you don't have only have to do it in a station, you can just do it from your suit, like just as I am right now. But keep in mind your suit only has a certain distance. I need to figure out what that is because I forget. But if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, right there you see your broadcast, whether it is on or off. 
If you hit O, it turns it off. Hit O again, it turns it back on. Now, enemies will see that as well. If you have it turned off, enemies will not be able to see you. And if you turn it back on, enemies will be able to see you. So keep that in mind as well when you're playing multiplayer. But also, in order to remote control a ship from your suit, that has to be on. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go into K. We're going to go up here to remote access. We're going to find Tiny, which is right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to control. Now, you can also control all the different pieces of that ship from remote control as well. So the thrusters, remote control, I can go ahead and change things, uh, control it how I want. Pretty much the same thing you can do when you go into the control panel on that ship. But let's go ahead and go back to uh, remote access. Go over here to tiny and we're going to control. So now I'm able to remote control that ship. Go forward a little bit. So what I want to do is it will tell us, that antenna will tell us how far away that ship is when we move. I want to see, I think it's 200 meters. Alright, the uh, game crashed on me again. So where was I? I completely forget. Alright, what I want to do right now, now that we have the ship named and everything's good to go. Yeah, the game crashed on me again. Alright, the game crashed on me when I was getting everything set up. So let's get back into the seat. What I want to do is actually test this thing out and make sure it can move because I haven't flown it yet. Actually, it seems to work pretty good. Alright, now <laughs> we... Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to remember where I left off at, uh, before the crash. So if we go to remote access, I did show the terminal. Now we can control that ship. And as you can see, I can move it all that I want. Right now what I want to do is I want to check out what kind of range we get on that ship. Best way to do that is let's go into G. And just like when you're in the seat of the ship, you need to set up your toolbar at the bottom. Did I not put a camera on this? I didn't put a camera on it. It's very important that you go ahead and put cameras on this or it'll be kind of difficult to control when you're at a distance. So yeah, we'll just put a camera on the front. There we go. That should be better. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and K. Mode access. Find Tiny. Control him. Uh, go G. And I want to go ahead and put the camera down there so I can actually view what's going on. All right, now that we got that, let's go ahead and hit one. And there we go. Now we're looking through the camera and we can see our character. What's up, homie? Now also keep in mind, if you don't have power in your suit, the antenna will not work either. So what I want to do right now is I want to test how far out we can go from our character. Bitch, I don't have anything set up. Right now we're at about 200 meters, 300 meters. 400, about 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's one kilometer. We're still going. What will happen is when I start losing connection because I get too far away, uh, the camera will actually go out. You'll see here in a second. I'll go back into my suit. Okay, it is going to 3 kilometers. 4, maybe 5 kilometers. I haven't tested this in a really long time. It used to just be 200 meters, but apparently now it's further. And we're about to come up to 5 kilometers. I don't think it's connected to the other end. Oh, there it is. 5 kilometers. That's how far we can go before it cuts out. So now I need to go ahead and get the ship back over to the platform. So yeah, always keep in mind how far you can actually go with the remote control ship. So when you're in your suit, it was 5,000 meters. 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So it was five kilometers we were able to go away from the suit. But then I could go ahead and go into a control station, which we have this seat set up right here, and we could use that antenna to go even further. So let me see how far can we actually go. So that's the max right there for the suit, 5,000 meters. But with the antenna on a station, you could go to 50,000 meters, which is 50 kilometers. So it used to be that the small grid antennas weren't as powerful 
as the large grid antennas, but now the small grid antennas will go the same distance, so 50,000 meters, which is 50 kilometers. So another thing you can do with remotes is not only can you control a ship, but you can also control another station, which we have set up over there. So if you go into, actually I'm close enough, I should just be able to go into my suit. So we hit K, go to remote access, and this is a station right here, I don't have it named. But if we go into terminal, we can see all the information that we have on that station. Not only the control panel, but we could also go into the inventory. So right now, the only item that I have on that station is that refinery. And that's it. I thought I put something else there, but I guess not. But uh, not only that, if you get like a notification or something, if you have sensors set up. And it lets you know that somebody is in the area. What you can do is you can go to the camera and view. And you can try to see if there's any enemy vehicles by that station. So you always want to go ahead and set up a remote on any ship that you build or any station. So that way if you're out, say, you're out mining. And you want to go ahead and check up on your base, see what the inventory is doing. Or make sure that things are working properly. You can connect to that station via the remote control. And just go ahead and keep up with what it's doing. And the game crashed on me again. Oh, this is getting irritating. I don't know why the game keeps crashing. I mean, I'm not... CPU usage is fine. But anyways, so what we want to do is we want to talk about autopilot. So I, autopilot is pretty cool and it's very useful. Not only can you set up... Well, okay, let's say you have your base on an asteroid like we have right here. And what you want to do is you want to set up a defensive perimeter. Basically set up a ship with a bunch of turrets on it to go ahead and defend an area around your asteroid. You can do that with a remote control. First thing you have to do is you have to set up the GPS markers though. So right here we have Relay 1, Relay 2, Relay 3, and Relay 4. Right now just to show you how this works I want to go ahead and send Tiny over to Relay 1 on its own. So we'll go into K, we'll go to remote access, find Tiny, go to the terminal, go down to the remote control, scroll down to where we get to the autopilot stuff. So what we're going to do is with flight mode, there are a couple of different things that we could do. With patrol, what it will do is it will go from one waypoint to the other, whichever waypoint you designate, and it will stop or it'll go back the other way. Circle means it will go from one uh, one way point to the other and then back to the first one Which is probably the best one you want to go ahead and set up or you have one way. We're gonna go ahead and do one way right now And then we're gonna set up waypoints. So we're gonna do relay one add So now we have waypoint one or relay one. I should have said waypoint. It's probably easier Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and turn on oh, went too high Turn autopilot on. And there she goes, all by herself. Now when it gets to relay one, it will stop on its own because we're only going one way. So let's go ahead and try this out. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna test out the patrol. So remote access is fine, tiny. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to go into, hold on, tiny. Uh, terminal. There we go. Go to remote control. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add relay 2. So relay 1, relay 2. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and set that up flight mode on patrol. Uh, we could also change the speed limit if we want. We could also change the direction. Yeah, I'll not be doing that. So let's go ahead and autopilot, we need to turn, oh yeah, it's because I'm in remote control. So to exit remote control, just hit F. And let's try that again. So tiny terminal, remote, autopilot, on. So now it's set up on a patrol of one and two. 
So I think what's going to happen is it's going to go from one to two and then back to one. So if I had it set up with the other relays, it would go from one to two to three to four, and then it would go backwards to three, then two, then one. But if you set up on a circle, it will go from one to two to three to four, and then back to one. So let's go into remote access, go to tiny, go to terminal. Oh, this is not going to do it. It's not going to do it. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to shut down the remote. I don't think I could do that remotely. Let's, can I get into the seat? Come here, come here. Come here, homie. All right, let's do it this way. So let's go remote and I need to go ahead and turn autopilot off. All right, so the next thing we need to do, let me go ahead and get out in case this thing starts to take off. Uh, remote access, tiny, let's go to terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the remote, scroll all the way down, and I'm going to set up all four waypoints. So we need to add three, add four. I'm going to change this uh, to flight mode, go change that to circle. And now autopilot on. So it was already heading to two, so it's going to continue doing that. Then it's going to head to three. Then it's going to head to four. And then it's going to come back to one. Are you? Yeah, there it goes. Just takes a second. All right, so that's a way you can set up a patrol. Next thing you could do is you could go ahead and change the speed at which the ship will move. So that way you can make it a slow patrol. So let's see. I, I don't think I'll be able to access it. Terminal. There we go. Now it's showing. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and slow it down. So let's set the speed limit for 27. And now it should go a little bit slower. So a nice, slow, <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and make it a little bit more. So remote control, tiny, terminal, remote control. Let's slow it down a little. Oh, maybe I have to reset it. Yeah, I have to turn autopilot off. All right, let me go ahead and set it to, let's set it to nine and see what happens. Autopilot on. There we go. Now it shouldn't go over, I think, what did I set it to? 10? Something like that. Now it will go a lot slower. So a nice slow patrol around the, around the asteroid. And if I had some weapons on it, whenever it detects a ship, it'll start attacking that ship. So just a little something you could do with remotes. Later on, we'll go ahead and go into more detail about some of the other stuff we can do. Uh, one thing you could do with that is, let's say you have a cargo ship with a miner on it. You're doing some mining out at that asteroid. Uh, you drop the ores off in the uh, cargo ship, and then you have a ship that goes out to that cargo ship, loads up, comes back, unloads, and it goes back out and just keeps going back and forth. Now, I've done that before. It is a little bit tricky, and sometimes it doesn't work right. But later on, we could go ahead and try to do that again. But I think that's about all I can talk about with remote controls. So it's something that people just don't do anymore because you have scripts and stuff like that that people use instead. But yeah, if you're creative, you can get your ship to do a whole lot of cool stuff. But yeah, other stuff we'll have to talk about in further episodes. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.